Welcome to this quick review of Autodesk Force Effect Flow. Autodesk Force Effect Flow is a powerful simulation tool that runs directly on your iPad. Using Force Effect Flow, you can create freehand concept designs or use the object detection technology to instantly capture geometry from your iPad environment. And then you can simulate the aerodynamic performance of that design directly on your iPad. Now as I come into the application, I'm going to start a new diagram. And you could draw freehand in the diagram, but for this example, I'm going to jump into Autodesk 360 and take a look at one of my 3D models. Now the example I'm going to use today is the Space Battleship Yamato, and I know this is a silly example. Uh, there's a cartoon uh, from the 70s where they actually built a battleship and they flew it out in space and saved the world. And uh, I remember watching that as a kid, always wondering, could a battleship actually fly? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a side shot of my model and I'm going to do a screenshot on my iPad and then I'm going to jump back over into Autodesk Force Effect Flow. We're going to go back to the canvas and I'm going to zoom in and then hold a single finger down on the screen and this will activate the background tools. Then I'm going to reference the photo I just took and place it in the background. Now instead of sketching this manually, I can hold the button down and have the application sketch it for me. Now I'll hide the background and I have my simple hand-drawn sketch of the Space Battleship Yamato. Now we can begin analyzing the aerodynamic capacity or capability of this design. Now we have a number of ways to analyze it. If you've ever been to a real wind tunnel or seen a wind tunnel test, you've seen that they trail smoke lines across the design and that is exactly what we can do here you can see the trails of smoke come across the design and you can see the points of high pressure and low pressure if we zoom in here you'll actually see a little vortex forming behind the bridge of the battleship again if you've ever seen a real wind tunnel test you know that you can drop a single trail of smoke to analyze your aerodynamics and you can do the same thing with Autodesk Force Effect Flow here I'm dropping a single trail of smoke to analyze the top of our ship design. I can also click on the screen to drop a single trail at the bottom of the ship. I'm also interested in how the air is going to impact the bow of the ship. So I can click a spot right here and you can see that we have a lot of pressure buildup in the front of this ship. There are other analysis options. Let's take a look at the trail option. This is a more dynamic look at the wind as it passes your design. You can increase the wind speed and you can get immediate feedback via the meter on the right as to the maximum and minimum wind speeds incurred. If I zoom up to the top at the antenna of the ship you can actually see that I'm encountering wind speeds of over 400 miles per hour. There's also a static vector map you can use to define your areas of high pressure and low pressure. And there's also a pressure map which does the same thing with colors. This is going to conclude my quick look at the new Autodesk Force Effect Flow app. If you're interested in this app, go ahead up to the App Store where you can download it for free.